Dear Lord, we return Thomas to you. Apparently, you can't go over the top. Sophie, you wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few, for a certain transaction. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, is kinda shy. They're both craftsmen, clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Pilgrim in the bazaar? I gave if you I money to buy water, water and what did you no do? One is the cart was good for Not if someone could How should I know that you can't hear what? He was a pea cake commander. What do you think? Why would you even you say something like that? Seeks. Just kidding. You two are a Back in the day, I had a huge object. A massive. Have you seen it? Well, and a, a, a workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? already sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits who that fellow <laughs> Sophie's brother huh? what was the asshole's name Barney the asshole's name is Barney and he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals yeah, that's news to me so where is that dark zone it's a hundred a uh, hundred and twenty uh, uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. 
shop elsewhere <laughs> and be this uh, <laughs> let down. What did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. in the bazaar? If I were him, I'd clear up before he pisses people off. It seems I met Carl before you. And Sophie? Doing a thing for her now. A thing? I'm helping save her brother's ass. Good. Gain her trust. <laughs> Sophie might know something about Lucas's death. Not much happens around here without her knowledge. Except where her crazy brother is concerned. Watch out for Barney. He's a little bit twitchy. Some infected attacked us, tore our windmill apart. All our UVs are down. I'm not sure how I can help. If we don't get our lamps back on, we won't survive the night. I can't help right now, but I'll be back later.
Sophie? I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Sophie, Tayden, I found a radio. And a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kojak. One of ours. Barney can't be far. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Fuck's sake. How much does this shit weigh? Inhibitor container detected. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Is that you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You won't get them. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. Stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Come back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You damn lucky you're busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One... Two, three, go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! Great. Barney! Oh, 
Okay, that's it. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! following the trail. sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. It's my birthday today. Uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan! What's going on? Nathan! Nathan! Barney. You there? Barney? Aiden. You there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. Keep telling everyone. 
He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. God damn it. I hear Barney got himself into trouble again. <laughs> 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 are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Uh, interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. 
Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. That. I'm just giving you information. You won't regret it. Aiden? Yeah. Something's up. Susie? You there? Sophie! We're under attack! What? Susie! What's going on? It was a trap! Bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us! Fuck them, Aiden! Kill them all! Survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. <laughs> What? A goon. Huge. 
Ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Aiden, how's it going? You alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious, but if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. Sophie. Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here. Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Hey, don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, 
but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Birdie, to your health! I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Monsieur's Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie... They deserve revenge, and Jack and Joe sentenced them to death, so they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear. I'll gut them. Real slow. Goddamn coyotes. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. 
Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. Looks like Sophie's not here. I better look for her. One thing. I needed that one. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said. Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with... Uh, uh, not working with... Uh, it's broken. That... Uh, oh. uh, Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. I hope he's alive, and that you find him someday. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me, because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? You take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. Hey. Oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Ooh. The exalted count asks for a glass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook. Can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling it music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers. Barney's coming. And he's gonna kick your dairy ears. <laughs> I'll rip out. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan. 
I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your health! I love you! What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Wait, where's Sophie? There, on the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. the peacekeepers are watching us. I'll let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Change of plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. See that light over there? Oh, shit. You fucking serious? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Hello, Pilgrim. The Greenwood family. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the Maiden. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run! Fast! I can't believe I let them fool me like that. Pray for you. Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. I have to go, Hakon. I promise to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Sophie! Barney! You there? Sophie? God, Sophie, report in.
trophy. What the hell is going on? Report in. This is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Helped Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? My Barney! Barney, wait! Figures. Looking for Sophie. Sophie. Damn it! This isn't about you, Herman. Get out of my way. Fucking grizzly. Where'd you come from? I've got a sixth sense, kid. I knew you were gonna get in trouble. Barney wanted to kill you. Means he has something to hide. Something about Lucas, or worse. What do you mean? The murder of the commander. Now the takeover of the water tower. That's no coincidence, Aiden. Barney has long been looking to get out from behind his sister's shadow and rid Villador of the peacekeepers himself. I'll try to find him. 
Be careful. I'll go warn Ator. Let's keep in touch. Barney? Come out! Come on, man! I will find you! Hey, if you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. Barney! You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? You can try, but I don't think you will. Tell me who killed Lucas. The Warren thinks we did it. Waste of time. Shoot. This is your last chance, Sophie. Tell me who killed Lucas before I break down this door. I could kill you right here and now. But for now, you're more used to me alive than dead. We'll see how much longer that lasts. Hey, Ader, you were right. Sophie and Barney were gonna kill me. I got a message from Hakon. Glad you made it through in one piece. Let's meet in my quarters in the metro. We'll talk about what comes next. Okay. the doctor. I'm not going to be groped by some strange guy. Stay alert. Yeah, yeah. Good. You were right. It was a trap. Yeah, it looks like you were getting close to the truth. 
Either they killed Lucas, or they know who did. We'll force them to talk. How will you do that? By taking control of the water tower. Jack and Joe took off somewhere. Only stragglers left in the tower at best. This is the only source of water in the area. And whoever controls the water, controls old Villador. So you'll take it by force? I could. With the bandits gone, the bazaar will station guards at the tower. At the first sight of the PK, there'll be an immediate clash of forces. <sighs> well, I don't want to give them an excuse for war. However, if someone took over the tower quietly, it would be a fait accompli. <sighs> so you want me to sneak in there? Yes, and disarm the charges left by Jack and Joe. Take out whoever's left up there, but be careful. The tower's the tallest structure in the area. The only way up was cut off. I can try. Seems like the only option right now. All right. Go for it. If you pull it off, we'll gain massive leverage for the bazaar to tell us who the killer was. Hello. No threat identified here. Stand by. Looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Ada wants to take control of the water and force the bazaar folk to talk. So this is how he's looking into Lucas's murder. <laughs> he's not such an idiot after all. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, <sighs> dangerous. The downs just run off thought. like that. Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Fuck. You can't let that happen. The tower's mined. Try and disarm the charges. Fast. Collect money. Jack, give it back. They'll get what they deserve. Got it. They will die. And the water Jack, is safe. I'm warning you.
Made it after all. Of course the fuck is up. Either the bizarre jack holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. Fuck, we lost it, man. We lost it. We can't fight everyone. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Hey, who's there? Stop, or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear. I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over and to leave the city safely. I help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope? So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone! I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance! Fucking listen to me for once! Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar! After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Luke is wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I can get you out of town. But first, I have my own business to take care of. You need to hide somewhere and wait. Sounds like a huge risk. No risk, no gain. He's lying, Jack. There's no other way. Fuck! I don't like it. I fucking don't. But okay. We'll be waiting for you in the tunnels near the Tango Motel. We'll give you a signal when we get there. Good choice. Now give me the detonator, Jack. So what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water?
This feud is silly. We all want peace. Hakon. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. In between patrols, we should check out... You can go search Barney's stuff. Coast is clear now. and her men near the water tower. So the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back. Is this some kind of collector or what? Hmm, that ain't no proof. Oh, this place is a pigsty. Aiden, hurry up. Someone's coming your way. Ah, great. Get out of there! Now! Here's something. Hey, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Hakon! I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks! What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't Taurus! Why are you going through my sister's stuff? I didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko? Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Where's the girl? She wasn't here. She hasn't shown her face anywhere for a good couple of hours. Do, do you know what it means? He wanted to show off. Son of a bitch wanted to prove that he killed Lucas. So you're a cannibal now or some shit, Barney? It, it wasn't me! It's him! He framed me! Okay. We're taking him to the station. He'll give us the whole story soon enough. You did good, Aiden. Meet me in my office. Time to fulfill my end of the deal. Doctor. I'm not going to be held for some strange guy. You killed the commander. Where'd you get the idea? Your sick head? Or from your little sister? Fuck you! I hated the guy more than most. But even I'm not stupid enough to have killed him. You know, whenever I catch someone, even red-handed, they deny it till the very end. Maybe you are stupid enough to have done that. Maybe you're a moron, even. <laughs> 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 
You're trying to piss me off, so I kill you right here. No, 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 no. That's not my game. You're going to be tried and convicted. Why did you carve out his tattoo? I'm telling you, I don't know, because I didn't do it. I go crazy sometimes, sure, but I ain't no fucking psycho. Oh, you're the biggest psycho I know. I bet someone ordered you to kill Lucas and you had to bring them proof. Simple. Focus, you fucking PK. I told you, it wasn't me, understand? Prove it. Fuck! Even I know asking me to prove a negative means you got nothing. Don't they teach you that in PK school, you fucking fuck? Waste of time. So you kill Lucas. What happens next? I don't know, asshole. Because I didn't do it. it. Hurt me, and I'll take revenge. But I'm not a cold-blooded killer. Forget it, Aiden. Punks like him just want to cause chaos, their favorite flavor. We're done here. This idiot won't tell the truth. Why would I lie? I have less to gain by lying to you than I did if I'd killed Lucas, which I didn't. Don't expect rational thought from anyone who needs a separate brain just to control his sphincter. You're the one talking out of his asshole. Give me a fucking break. This piece of skin is evidence. Solid evidence. Let's not waste any more time on this piece of garbage, Aiden. He'll get a trial, followed by a death sentence soon enough. What about our agreement? It still stands. Go to the Metro Tunnels. I'll meet you there after we've disposed of Barney. But there's one more thing. I need a favor. Well? Once you get to the center, my wife and kids are there. Will you give them something for me and tell them that I'm safe? You don't have anyone you trust more to handle this for you? Maybe I don't. As long as this isn't arsenic and you're not setting me up. It's not. The address is on it. <laughs> that asshole Barney won't escape now. Thanks, Pilgrim. Lucas was a tough hombre. It's us. Who's us? Ato is letting us through to the center. You didn't get his order. Names. Hakon. And you? Aiden. Hey! It's our man! Let him through! Cheat on your woman. I never had a my woman. Never been with anyone? For real? Not everyone's a horn dog like you, Hakon. Yeah, unfortunately. But I get it. Always hauling your ass from one town to the next. <laughs> no chance to get involved with anyone. And what about you? Uh, do you ever have someone? For reals? <sighs> Me? Relationship. Well, those times I told you about. I tried. Really. Each time thinking this was the one, or two. But then one time, I found the real deal. But? But it ended. I hurt her, and I didn't want to make it worse. No. Nope. Oh, shit. What was that? That didn't sound good. What the hell was that? Nothing good, I bet. Do we wait? We need to press on. All the ventilators have shut down, and without them we won't survive here long. Chemical fumes. How much time we got? Fuck all, or even less. There should be a ventilation panel in the service tunnel. Go there, and try and get it going, while I see what can be done about those power surges. 
I hope you know electricity as well as you know women. Keeping a wise ass like that. You see where it gets you, little punk. The ventilation panel is there. It's not working. The chemical fumes are getting thicker and thicker. Oh, fucking shit. Cables. Follow the cables. Should take you to the backup generator. <clears throat> it's got to be there. <coughs> okay. Turning it on. Ah, <clears throat> oh, shit. It just sputters out right away. Can you hear me? I'm by the generator, but I can't turn it on. Overloaded, I'm guessing. There's a solution, but you won't like it. <clears throat> just tell me. We need to turn off one of the sections. I can plug it directly to the fans. Why won't I like it? Disconnect the lights. All lights. You will have to walk in the dark. Let's try it. Are you sure? Of course I'm not sure. Do we have a choice? Okay. On three. One. Two. Three. Come on. Why are you just standing there? Did you get dropped on your head at per- Hey, kid, you okay? Talk to me. Relax, old man. I'm fine. What are you calling old man, kiddo? How about next time you do the running? Yeah, well, I always prefer to have my ass driven. We should keep doing what we're best at. You do the running, I do the thinking. What about the power? Will it stay on? I think it just might. <laughs> if I had a week to spare, I could fix them all up, with one hand up my ass. Hakon, will the power stay on or not? 
It should. Uh, let's go easy, like. So the fans get a chance to pull that shit from other parts of the tunnel. I know this place well. <laughs> the station was out of service long before the epidemic broke out. <sighs> Feels weird in here. In the olden days, me and my boys would come here to hang. Oh, no way. <laughs> hey, hey, come look at this. What is that? John Michael Novak. What? An old friend of mine. You can find his graffiti all over town. Cool stuff. There should be one more over here. You hear that? <laughs> nah. You're hearing things. I'll check it out. Make sure it's not the last thing either of us hear. Stay put for now, yeah? Hurry! Come on, oh. run! No, 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 no! Fuck, fuck, no! Ah. Something must have gone to shit up top, Aiden. That didn't sound good at all. Fucking wonderful. Uh, give me the GRE key. I'll try to open the barriers. I know what to do. All right, fine. Here. I'll check the nearest hatch. I will get out. Cabby's word. The hack on. Hack on. Hack on. Where are you? I... Don't leave me here. I. Motherfucker. Shit. It doesn't work here either. Okay, wait. I have one more idea. Yeah, what? No, 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 don't you fucking dare bail on me. I... Trust me. How can you expect that, Hakon? For fuck's sake. I... Hakon, don't leave me here. Oh, God damn it. You better come up with something. Fast. to get lonely.
are you doing here? Ata sent me. Where's your pal? The Hakon went to unlock the barriers. Wonder why you'd do that. Wait a bit longer. I'll pull you out uh, in a sec. Hurry. My infection's redlining. I'm getting ready to turn. This will tide you over. Thanks. charges. A technical corridor runs alongside the tracks. You want me to blow up the wall? Any better ideas? Our time is really running out. You seen Hakon anywhere? No. I'm getting the feeling he fucked me over. You're not the first or the last. Stop. Answers in. I'm still holding on. That still will end shortly. A fast learner. Good. Now go! I'm heading back to the exit. Piece of shit. <laughs> Grab him before the PK come back. You see, gents? Seek and ye shall find. I told you, wherever that ass hack on is, the little prick Aiden won't be far behind. What have you done to hack on? Hack on? Not a man. Just roughed him up a bit. Then he ran off. You, though. Won't be so lucky. You see, there's not many in this world I hate more than PKs. But you are a twofer. A traitor and a thief. You stole the water from us, you rat bastard. Now, I'll stick your head on a pike and wave it at your buddy hater. Get out of my way. 
Last warning. Oh no. I'm so scared I think I just pooped my drawers. <laughs> Am I supposed to let it slide that you fucked over my sister? That you crawled over to kiss those soldiers' asses and that you stole our drinking water? I wish I had killed Lucas. But now I think, fuck him. What matters is, I get to kill you. <sighs> Take him. That's why the electricity went out. It blew up the windmill. Anderson, I'm outside. I really hope so. But, um... We'll have to see. What happened? I'm stuck in a lift. I thought the generators were working. Where are you? Ada has some people on the way. I'm just hoping they can make it before my biomarker turns red. We'll take the Anderson and wait. I'll come get you. Oh, look. I got my own personal knight in shining armor. You saved me. I save you. Now, where are you? Lift to the extraction point. I don't go anywhere. Anderson, I'm getting close. I'll be there soon. Okay. Anderson, talk to me. Like what? Like, uh, why did you join the PKs? I had a little sister, Olivia. One day she disappeared. She and her friend. For one minute they were there and then... We just couldn't find them. Never found the bodies or anything. She was seven at the time. I was 14. Soon, I heard rumors about the GRE abducting kids for tests. <laughs> and the army covering it up. So, as soon as I could, I enlisted with the PK. Because they hated the army and the GRE just as I did. And that's that. Okay, Aiden, listen to me. Anderson, talk to me. Uh, just hurry up. I'm doing my best. Hold on. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> 
Anderson with you. Well, I'm sorry. <clears throat> she's... She's gone, Ader. She saved my life. Who's responsible? The freaks from the bazaar? No, it just... happened. 
We have to take the windmill back, so I sent troops to the bazaar. We'll put the savages in order. I'm told that the explosions block the tunnel, Hayden. I'm sorry. Getting to the center will have to wait. Yeah, that's all right. I need to get something back first. Aiden, you're alive. No thanks to you. The people from the bazaar. They've got totally ape shit, Aiden. They're massacring the PKs. They almost got me too. I'll come get you. No need. Got the GRE key? I got everything we need, amigo. Come to Sarah and Yana. The tunnel to the center is blocked. I got another idea. Hurry up. Hakon. Ah, you're finally here. Let's go. When Yana heard you were coming, she grabbed Sarah and they left. Seems they weren't too fond of you. And where are we at? Uh... <coughs> ah, what? <Waltz>. Fucking hell. <coughs> ah. Calm down. Just let me see. Let me see. Ah, I'll help. Fuck. Wait. I'll ah. help. Show me. Relax. You're gonna pull through. What's that? The wound from the Lazarus? You say you killed Lucas. If not for those brass knuckles, it would only took a few seconds to do the job. Ah, I thought he was a better fighter. Ah! The fuck are you saying? Ah, no point denying it with this wound, right? So you carved ah. out his tattoo and planted it on Barney. Ah, Waltz. He ordered the kill. You're working with Waltz and you didn't tell me? You piece of shit. Oh, you don't get it, kid. Waltz would have killed me, you see, like he killed Dylan. And anyone who defies him. I have to get out of here, get it? I couldn't have told you. Why? You know he's the one who tortured me in the past. I didn't tell you in order to protect you. So what if you find out something about your sister? Waltz will kill you. Where is he? Ah, fuck. Where is Waltz? Supposed to meet him under the electric car factory in the GRE tunnel. Hey, then I'm fucking dead here, understand? They're gonna kill me. You'd leave me. You'd leave me now. Give me back the GRE key, Hakon. Uh, uh, here. I should leave you to die for what you did. Why wouldn't you? I'm gonna find that sniper first. Ah. <laughs> Really? You do that for me? A life for a life. After that, we're fucking done. You see that goddamn sniper? No, nothing. Use your binoculars. Shut up. I'm done listening to your sage advice. No, I cocked up. Let's leave it at that. Those bolts fly far and fast. Find something to hide behind. Tell me something I don't already know, Hakon. Aiden, you're right. 
you up? I'm fine. Clever fucker. Shut the tanks. Fuck! I can't I'm a shit duck. Run, boy! Chris Run! An eagle up. I see him, Aiden. He's sticking to the roof. Go! <laughs> Drop the ladder. Well, so much for surprise. We figure something out. Still in one piece? <clears throat> for now, yes. I gotta get behind him somehow. Who else wants to kill you, Hakon? Ader? The, uh, the PKs? I lost track ages ago. You. Fucking Santa Claus. This has nothing to do with you. You gotta pick your friends better. Why are you hunting Hakon? Who's this about killing Lucas, sir? Tell Hakon that it's not over wait. yet. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Ah. Hakon, you still alive? Uh, my meter's still running. Hakon, yeah, she got away. But you're safe. For now. She? There was a woman? Fuck. Yeah? And I don't think she likes you. That sounded personal. Personal, huh? Doesn't usually narrow it down. But I know who it is. Watch out for her, Eden. She's one of the most dangerous people you'll ever meet. And noted. Now I'm going to the central loop. Beware of waltz, Aiden. 
Renegades have appeared all over the center, and he's working with them. He's looking for the key you've got. I'm done listening to your advice. Ader! Ader, come in. Aiden, tell me what's cooking. Oh, you have no idea. Barney and Sophie, they didn't kill Lucas. Hakon did. What? How? Waltz had him do it. And that completes my part of our deal. Your turn. Wait. Aiden, did you see Waltz? You know where he's hiding? He's at the old car factory. So we're gonna meet there. Waltz is bloody dangerous, Aiden. He's a renegade. We have to get him. And what about the central loop? The central loop will stay put. Waltz won't. Trust me. I'll see you at the factory. Later. What do you know about Walt? Not much. I heard that years ago he got kicked out of the GRE for running illegal experiments. Now he's the Butcher's right hand. We've been looking for him, sure. Been looking for many of them, but... Maybe something changed and Walt's climbed the ranks. Why did he want Lucas dead? <laughs> That's gonna be the first thing I'll ask once we get to him. <laughs> 